It's Jess with Just Makes Sense. And today I'm going to see if I found a dupe for the lovely, beautiful, brand new Natasha Denona palette. I originally bought this Wet n Wild palette because I wanted the new Tarte palette, but it was $45 and I just didn't want to spend that much money if I could get a dupe for like the pinky ones, which is all I really need. Normally I use the Tartlet and Bloom, as you can see. It's like so messy. Um, so I just thought maybe I could add a couple pinks, which would be this Elf palette, Rose Water, and then I got this Wet n Wild palette. Um, I just got this in the mail and I thought it looked really familiar. And then I looked at this and I saw how familiar they are. They look so similar. And so today I'm going to compare them. I'm gonna do a look on one eye Wet n Wild, one eye Natasha Denona, and we'll see what happens. Um, first of all, the I took off my eye makeup so from the last video, so this is just plain. Um, I do have vitiligo around this eye, so this is going to look a little pinky whiter, but they are totally, nothing's on them. And I have my eyeshadow brushes that I will um, wipe off in between the two so we can get like a real, realness of what they are if they compare to each other or not. So let's do, this eye is going to be wet and wild. This eye is gonna be Natasha Denona, and y'all better remind me, because I will forget. So let's start with the Wet n Wild palette. Again, they, I ripped off the name, I think it was just on the top, and they never like put it permanently on their stuff, which that's the only thing I hate about it, because then you don't know what, what you need to buy again. So the first one I'm gonna do is this cream color, cream shimmer, that I'm just gonna put all over the eye. It's funny because my eyes are super pink right now because I took one of these, which I don't normally use, only for traveling, like the Neutrogena wipes, and took off my old makeup. And so, usually I don't have sensitive skin, but when it comes to my um, my eyes, it is pretty sensitive. So that's okay. We're just gonna cover this bad boy in a bunch of this creamy, creamy shade. It's like a creamy shimmer, kind of. Okay. I'm not a makeup artist. Well, y'all can tell I'm not a makeup artist, but I just wear like everyday makeup. And when I saw these two, I thought, oh man. They do look very similar. Next, I'm gonna use this lighter one. And this I just put all over my lid. I keep looking here because it's so much easier, but I know y'all are right there, so I'm sorry if this is like kind of annoying. And y'all might see a sunset. It's so pretty out. Okay. A little bit more. I don't really know how to do makeup either. I just do like windshield wiper. That's all I do. That's all I know how to do. Um, I'll take this like light pink shade I'll just put it right there just to add a little bit of something okay and then I add a little bit of this middle shade Okay, then I will take this darker shade. It's like a really, really dark purple, but it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner and do another windshield wiper. I'm telling y'all, I don't know how to do makeup. I just do whatever works. Sometimes it doesn't even work. Okay, like that. 
Then I'll take this little guy right here, this lighter shade. Sorry, my nails aren't painted. I just took them off and I don't know if I'm gonna do my fake nails on or paint with the Sally Hansen. Okay. I didn't really take it off from my last one, so it's hard to tell. And then at the end, after I do this, I add more to right here. I don't know why. Okay. That looks pretty good. Then I'll go over, usually go over like the top part. I normally would use like this um, e.l.f. no budge eyeshadow, but I'm trying to just use these two palettes to get like a true comparison between the two. Okay, that's pretty good. It's good enough. Then I will take my mascara. So I've just been beating up those eyelashes for 10 minutes. I was gonna take my mascara off too, and I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, that's one. So this, here, wet and wild. Don't mind like this, you can still kind of see my vitiligo because uh, my last video, I wanted to do it with the new tinted uh, hydrator. The It Cosmetics really covers it. But this, it's still nice. Um, okay, so we're gonna get rid of this guy. By Wet and Wild, you're gone. Then I'm going to take these brushes and I'm going to wipe off as much excess as I possibly can so we can get a true test of how much alike they are. Or not alike, they could be not alike when you put them on. Just, I just literally went like this a bunch of times. Okay, now this is the Natasha Denona and it is called the shades You Are My True Love. Like they each are one thing. You are my true love. Okay. And this is the Natasha Denona. This is the palette. It's really pretty palette. It's kind of heavy too for a palette. I did use um, this like creamy shade the other day and I tried this shade and so um, that's when I was putting that on I was like golly these colors look familiar and I'm like wait a minute and so I'm like I'm gonna do this on film and see they could not look alike which will be bad because I would love to find a dupe for this $25, this $2.99, but we'll see. Okay. So, so far doing them so close together, I feel like this one is a little bit more shimmery and I needed less to build up on it. And I'm probably not using the correct terms because I'm not a makeup guru. Next, I'm going to do my windshield wiper with this. Whoa. Oh, I gotta take some off. This is definitely more pigmented. Then I will take this and put it on like this. So, so far they're looking really similar. I would say that this one, um, it this one's more pinky. 
but I'd say they are similar, similar, like this color that I used for the lid and this color that I used for the lid, this is pink, more pinky and this is more of a brown, but they are both pink tones. Hope that makes sense to y'all. Okay. And then I will do the dark guy for the corner. The difference in this one is this dark one is like a shimmer dark and then this is a matte. Oh gosh, I'm scared I put too much on. So this one you definitely have to build up more than this one. If you see like right strictly behind me is white and then right there is khaki, it's because I'm redoing my office. So I'm repainting it. And even though it was supposed to be a one coat, the one coat, ooh, almost gone with my battery. The one coat didn't even coat the whole room. So I don't know what I did wrong. But this, um, the walls are super textured and it had the original, um, What's that called? The original, like, dry, flat paint on it. So I think that it, this paint just sucked it up. Okay, that's, like, if I just walked in somewhere, I'd be like, that girl's wearing the same eyeshadow. Like, I wouldn't know those were two different brands. Okay, then I'll this. I'm gonna take this guy right here. So this guy's more shimmery, or more pigmented, I would say. Maybe not more shimmery. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna take this guy and put it over my final thing. So in this one, I use this middle one. For my final, I'm gonna use that one. Which they're so similar. I would say the only ones that aren't like super similar is this light pink one and this medium pink. If this was lighter pink or this was darker pink, they would be like super dupe. Just put on some mascara on that side. See the difference when you like hammer down? Should have taken off my mascara and started from the beginning. Oh no, the sun's really setting. Running out of light. But I have a ring light, so that's okay. Okay, so this is Wet n Wild. This is Natasha Denona. So I can't close one eye at a time. I can do that this side, but not this side. So I'm gonna close them both for like five seconds into the camera. This one is Wet n Wild. This is Natasha Denona. Do they look like? I'm gonna look back on the video. But to me, just looking in the camera, they are insanely similar. So similar. Let's go like this. Am I go like... Can't do it. I can't do it. I literally can't. I would say I was wearing the same eyeshadow. I think that's really similar. So I would 100% be confident in saying this is a dupe for this. And this is $2.99 and this is $25. I think I found, I think I scored. So, I guess I gotta give one of these away because they're so similar. That's all y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you like any craft, makeup, fashion, anything girly basically, like and subscribe and come back and see me. Have a great day y'all, bye bye.